Hi, this is Peter Jenkins. Uh, I'd like to show you how to create a full color image from a red, green, and blue mono images fairly simply in Photoshop. So let's get started. I'm going to open the three images which are included in the folder with this demo. Just holding the shift key down and selecting the first and last ones. So we've got three images open, as you can see at the top. There's a blue, green, and red. This is Pickering's Triangle, NGC6979. So to create a full color image, we're going to select one of these. And Control A selects everything. And Control C copies everything. So I've pressed Control A and Control C. File, New. We're going to select the clipboard, which is the image that we've copied, but we're going to produce not a grayscale, but an RGB color image. So we're going to create that. That appears here as Untitled 1, a new tab at the top. So over in the above the layers where my channels are for this image, I'm going to select the red, which is the one that we've just copied. And I'm going to go Control V, which is paste. So we've pasted the image we copied into the red channel. I'm going to select the green channel, select the green image, Control A, Control C to copy, and Control V to paste it in. I'm going to select the blue channel, go to the blue image, Control A, Control C, and paste that in, Control V. If we now select the top, the RGB image, you will see a full color image. In this case, maybe we want to make one or two adjustments. Control D deselects the image. And then we can now make any enhancements and changes that we want to the image. I think in this case, all I'll do probably is a little bit of curves, which I've shown before. I've selected that to refresh it the pointer to pick a, an area I don't want to shift and another area that I do want to move or increase the brightness of. Leaving the bottom point anchored I'm going to drag this up. That'll do just for demonstration. The image of that's finished now so I just go layer, flatten the image and we can save it as uh, any type of uh, color image. So save as and give it a name. I'll just call it Pickering Tiff and hit save. Okay. There we go. The, the, this, this image file will also be in the folder. Thanks for listening. I hope that helped. Bye for now.